Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So first of all, I'm sorry for this mess. I don't know what's going on with my hair today. Sorry that I look bald, but anyway. My friends, fellow chemistry majors, chemistry minors, chemistry enthusiasts, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about what basically I did to prepare for an interview. I've been on the job search recently. So I'm gonna list a few things that I always did to prepare for an interview. Recently I did get a job, so that's exciting. But I just wanted to share with you guys, what am I doing with my hands? What is this? <laughs> I just wanted to share with you guys what I did so that maybe you can pick up some tips if you are also on the job search or will be on the job search. And also take into account that this was during a pandemic, so if I reference anything about Zoom calls, um, in case you missed all of 2020 pandemic. <laughs> what is, I'm so annoyed by my hair right now. I don't even know what's going on. Like, oh my goodness. Also, before I start this video, don't forget to check out my Instagram and also subscribe and like this video because it would really help me out if you did. Um, just make sure you hit it an odd number of times, not an even number, because that would dislike it again. Also, if you guys would like another video, just kind of more of a casual video talking about my experience getting a job and like more than just how I prepared for my interviews, thumbs up this video and comment down below kind of like questions that you would have about that so that maybe I can do it kind of like a Q&A and also like a talking video. So, yeah. Okay, so if I get an interview, the first thing that I would do is review my resume. So I feel like this is pretty obvious, but you know, sometimes it's good each time to review your resume in case there's like something little that you learned from the last experience that maybe you'd want to change about your resume or maybe clear wording about something. Normally, I probably would have done this before the interview because before a lot of interviews, you have a phone screening, or at least that was the case for me. So before the phone screening, I feel like that's kind of like an interview. So before that, I would review my resume. In addition to yourself looking at your resume, have someone else that you trust or is really good at English or resume writing and have them look at your resume because there's a lot of things that I missed and that I didn't really word correctly. And to me, it seemed like it was, you know, very clear. And sometimes another person looking at it can really help you out. And I might talk about this in my other video, but if you are sending your resume out again, um, you could always like revise it slightly to tailor it to that job. In addition to reviewing your resume, it would be great to have a hard copy next to you. If this is a Zoom call, this is especially helpful because normally, obviously, they can't see your desk. So if you have your resume next to you and you write notes next to it, maybe specifics according to the job that you did. So let's say you did a research project, you could specifically list the protocols that you used and the experience that you have. Just in case they do ask you about that particular job, you can say, oh, this is my experience that I learned from this job, or, or these were the specific protocols that I used during that project. The next thing I suggest, which I think that pretty much everyone already does anyway, is just go online and look at the most common interview questions. I would go on multiple websites each time and just look at the most common ones and their suggested answers. And then in a way, I would actually make a Word document and I put common interview questions and I listed all the common interview questions and then I actually typed in my answer. And obviously you don't wanna sound like a robot on your interview, so don't just memorize your answer. But I think putting things in writing actually helps your mind kind of organize your thoughts a little bit better. So it made me feel a little bit more calm knowing that I had things actually written out. I know that I have said it to myself before and then I go to the interview and it comes a little bit more smoothly than if I just had an idea of what I wanted to say in my head and then went to the interview and didn't necessarily practice the topics that I wanted to focus on. I think this helped me a lot because at times when I'm nervous, I mention what I want to mention, but not in the way I want to say it, so it doesn't sound as good. And so just rehearsing a little bit what you're going to say and writing it out really helps you know that you're going to nail those points that you want to make clear to the interviewer and also help you just not be as nervous. So this one as well, I feel like you should always do is look up the company. I do this way before I even apply because if I don't agree with their values or don't really like the company in general. If it has bad reviews, I don't even apply. But you should definitely be looking up the company at least before your interview. And you should also be looking up reviews. 
So if you see that there's good reviews regarding a specific thing about the company, it might be good to look up things that the company values and you could always bring that up during the interview. And not that you're being ingenuine or anything like that, but if you also value it and you share that in the interview that you value something that the company is very big on, then that'll be a good sign to them and I think that that'll be a good connection that you can make with the people who interview you. And it'll sound a little bit more genuine that you looked up the company you know what they are focusing on rather than just you talking about yourself and it sounds like maybe you're not interviewing them as well and that's a big thing about an interview is that they're not only interviewing you but you're interviewing them and the fact that you look up the company and you know about the company shows that you both were interested in each other and it could be a good match. Okay, so looking things up has been a very common topic in this video. <laughs> So googling things like the people who interview you so LinkedIn will be your friend I feel like it's a little bit awkward because you know that when you search somebody on LinkedIn They probably can see that you search them on LinkedIn, but like if they're gonna be interviewing you I feel like they kind of expect that maybe that's just me. I don't know, but I hardcore creeped on some of these people <laughs> these poor people but I feel like looking up people who are going to interview you puts you a little bit more at ease before you go on that interview or a Zoom call, whatever happens. It's like going on a blind date and looking at someone's Instagram before you meet them. I mean like, obviously you're gonna look them up on Instagram beforehand because you don't wanna just be completely taken by surprise. If you kind of can find an article written by that person and you see the values that they enforce in the workplace, I think that can give you a good idea of what maybe they look for in a person as well. So for example, one time for me, I actually went on an interview and I found an article written by one of the people interviewing me. And reading this article helped me realize how kind and genuine she was and her values in a workplace. And so this actually made me feel a lot more comfortable and also feel a little bit more connected to her because she valued a lot of things that I value within a team in a workplace. And so, I don't know, this just kind of helped me go into the interview kind of knowing the kind of person that we'll, I'll be talking to and knowing the kind of common ground that if there is a lull in the interview, I could kind of mention something and kind of spark that conversation that would otherwise be just kind of an awkward silence. <laughs> in case that comes up. Those are basically all my tips other than obviously getting up, looking professional, putting some makeup on if that makes you feel more confident and look a little bit better, and going and nailing that interview. <laughs> in my job search, I went on a few interviews, a lot of phone screenings, definitely a lot of phone screenings, and quite a few Zoom calls. I think I actually had more Zoom interviews than, than in-person interviews, I think, because of the pandemic. And so this actually helped me a little bit feel more confident just because you could have your notes right there without judgment of other people that might be sitting close to you, seeing that you're like writing down little notes to remind yourself to say things. So in that case, that was kind of nice. But at the same time, in-person interviews are nice because you can kind of see the area that you'll be working in, maybe tour the facilities that you'd be working in and meet the people in person. You can never beat like actually meeting a person in person and then like actually seeing a place and feeling yourself there, you know? But other than that, I think Zoom interviews actually are really nice. So so anyway, those are my four tips. I think it was four. Four tips that I suggest for you guys before your interviews. They helped me. I hope they will help you if you are in the same situation I am where I have been looking for a job. And yeah. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, please, an odd number of times, as many as you want. And don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.